I just realized that I need to change out my pillow because it is not winter anymore. I'll do it later. Hi everyone, my name is Ahali and in today's video I'm here to show you all of the books I acquired in March. March is almost over with and it feels like it's been 84 years. I'm not gonna lie though, this book haul is intimidating and is a lot bigger than I intended it to be, not because of the amount of books that are here, but because of how thick they all are. I have my own personal leaning tower of Pisa beside me. I did also make two book outlet orders, but I will not be talking about those books in this video because I made a whole separate video for those books. I'll link it down below for you. You should check it out. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is actually not a book, but it's an app. That's right. I am so excited to say that I am working with Byzance for this video, which is basically an online bookish community in your pocket. It is full of all sorts of discussions. It's kind of like a morphed Goodreads, but even better because you can live chat with real people while you are currently reading a book. Or if you have already read the book, you can discuss all the spoileriness with everyone else. The app itself is really easy to navigate. You just download it from the App Store or Google Play and start adding books to your library. As you can see, I have delved into the dual Abercrombie chat rooms and it's great to know other people are just as obsessed as I am. This app is free and I think it's a fantastic way to buddy read with friends. I think it's going to make the experience so much more fun. It's easy. It's fluid. I mean, how perfect is this app right now with the time start we are in? So click the link in my description box, download this app, and add me as a friend so that we can live chat about books. Alrighty, so now we are moving on to the books, and the first two I'm going to talk about are books I have already read, so we'll just get them out of the way. The first one is The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. I actually read an e-arc of this before it was released. I just never went out and bought a physical copy. Well, I had a Bards Noble gift card that I still had from Christmas. This popped up on the website, and it was a side copy, which I'm so so thrilled about. Let's take a look at that autograph and it is right there. It's very legible, which I always like. This is the sequel to The Poppy War. It is a, a completely different story than its predecessor. It completely ditches the training and school format and instead really focuses on a war strategy and it absolutely works, trust me. We even get to experience the high seas within this novel and being from Ohio where there is no ocean nearby, it's sometimes fun to read about you know, like pirate ships or just anything on the ocean every now and then. Characters are going through such extreme hardships. It can be very, very depressing. So keep that in mind. If you haven't read The Poppy War, get on it immediately. It's an Asian inspired adult fantasy. It is a very dark, very violent, and very gory. And the next book that I have also read is The Bard's Blade by Brian D. Anderson. I read this in January and I really enjoyed it. So I decided to get myself a physical copy. This is a a fantasy that kind of reads like a YA. It's a very light read. In fact, I recommend this to people who aren't used to reading the fantasy genre. The first chapter of this really hooks you and you just fly through it. The basic premise is a world divided and an ancient enemy is rising. It begins in this kind of Shire-esque village that is surrounded by this magical barrier and rumor has it is if you cross this barrier, you're basically lost forever. There's no way back. No one knows what happens to you. Well, a stranger shows up saying that he has crossed it from the other side and he has some very mysterious news. This is just a very addictive read. It's pretty simple and also has a very prominent romantic plot line that I wasn't expecting, but I did end up getting a physical copy for myself, so I obviously really enjoyed it. Alrighty, so moving on, the rest of these books were sent to me from publishers, which I'm also grateful for, and the first one is Prelude for Lost Souls by Hale Helene. Wow, Helene. <laughs> Dunbar, and this was sent to me from Sourcebooks. This is a fantasy that comes out in August, and I honestly don't really know much about it except that it takes place in this town that is full of mystery, and everyone living there has contact with the dead. That's all I really know, and the synopsis doesn't really give me much because it's very vague. I'm assuming it has to do with music because of the title, and also there's like little music notes every now and then on the cover. It's very macabre and since it comes out in August, I feel like this would be like a really good October read. In fact, I'm really, really itching to maybe pick this up next month. I can't wait until October, okay? Alrighty, the rest of these books were sent to me from Orbit Books and the first one is 
Raven Collar by David Daglish. This is the sequel to Soul Keeper, which I'll actually be reading in April, and I'm so pumped for it. It's supposed to be very similar to The Witcher, where our main character is a mercenary, and he has to slay beasts for a living, and that is a trope that I could read for the rest of my life. That's all I'm going to say for now, because I will be talking about this book again in my TBR video, which is going to be my next video. So, yeah, I'll just leave it there for now. Moving on, we have a time of Courage by John Gwen. I'm probably triggering a lot of people mentioning this book. This is the conclusion to John Gwen's most recent series that takes place in the same world as Malice. I really hate mentioning that book now. This is an author that still eludes me somehow. I can't even count the amount of times I have said that I was going to read Malice. It has been in a thousand and one TBRs for me. In fact, I hate even mentioning that book anymore. But the good news is Malice is on this side. This book will be going right here. And I mentioned before that I really want to flip these books the most. So it's going to get priority one of these days, I swear. Anyways, this conclusion comes out in April. So if you're a big fan of the series or just the author in general, definitely check this one out. It's a chunky boy, that's for sure. How many pages is this? It is 674 pages. Actually, that's not as bad. I was thinking like 700 or 800. I told you this was a thick book haul. I mean... These three books alone could crush my head. And then I have The Book of Kali by M.R. Carey. This is another book that I'll be reading in April. I am so incredibly hyped for this one. I absolutely love stories that are centered on, like, killer plants and overgrown lush forests. And that is what this book is, if you couldn't tell by this cover. By the way, I just got to show off. These dangly phalanges, their vines, <laughs> are very shiny and a different texture than the rest of the book. It's really nice. Can I capture that? There you go. This is a dystopian that's following a boy who lives in this walled village and outside of the village is this overgrown forest where if you venture out into it, it can kill you. And events lead to Kali obviously going out into it and probably trying to survive. This will be my first Emma Carey book and I'm very excited to delve into his storytelling. I've heard great things. The second book actually comes out later this year which is great too. And the final book in this book haul is The Age of Witches, which is another book that I just recently talked about, but it is basically a book about witches. It takes place in 1692 and we're following Harriet Bishop who basically heals women, but not just any women, but women who have very dangerous magic. And that's all I really know about it. I know it takes place in like the Gilded Age of New York, which sounds really interesting. Um, I really wish this book had released um closer to october because obviously like which is a halloween read but it does come out in april so be sure to keep an eye out for it hi everyone so it's the next day and i just got my outcrate box and i really wanted to include it in this video because it's special okay this is the anniversary box now i am a rep and you can use my code holly on your very first subscription i highly recommend i mean look at this box it is so pretty before i begin i do want to mention that this box did sell out which means that they had to sacrifice some items from the reps boxes so that's including me i might be missing some items because they needed to use them for the customers which i thought was a really smart move of them don't be alarmed it's perfectly okay let's make it easier on myself that's better Okay, so there was a ton of stuffing in here. I have already taken it out. I'm just going to... Actually, I should show you what the theme was first. Right here. Where is the... Let's see if I can try and find it without looking. Right here. The theme for this box was music of the night. Okay, so first item is whatever is in here. Oh, I mean, it's a wireless speaker. That's so cool. <gasps> I haven't even seen it yet. Let's open it. <gasps> Look at that! It even has their logo on it. So it's a wireless speaker. You just um, connect it to your Bluetooth on your phone or your iPod, and it comes with like a rechargeable USB uh, cord. But yeah, I am definitely going to be using this. Absolutely. I would use it to show you, but then I would just get demonetized for copyrighted music. Up next, we have the pin, which looks like that. I'm going to have to take it out of the wrapping. 
Boom. Look at that. That is really pretty. It's like a double uh, tree. So if you turn it upside down, it looks the same. Oh my god, there's like little music notes. Oh, there we go. That is very pretty. Up next, we have some Outcrate socks, which I actually already have a pair of these. So um, these will probably go to Darren. Yeah, it just has their little logo on it. It's pretty cute. It says Outcrates right there. Ooh, what is this? A very mysterious envelope. It is hard as a rock. Let's see what it is. Ooh, this is so pretty. And it's like a wood plate, like a palette. And it says, sing you a song and steal your soul, Victoria Schwab. This is probably inspired by this Savage song, which I haven't read yet, but it's kind of obvious with like the violin and stuff. And it's very macabre looking. It's so creepy. I love the black and white. Oh, I adore this so, so much. Okay, so yeah, it's a wooden art print. Emily Rudd was inspired by the Monsters of Verity duology. So, yep, I was right. Up next, we have this, um, I think it's like a lip scrub or a lip balm. Uh, let's see, mint chocolate chip lip scrub. Okay, so Bella's lullaby. Interesting. I'm going to assume this is Twilight inspired. Okay, so it looks like the book is next. I'm really curious if I'm missing any items, so I'm going to check really quick. Okay, so it looks like there was a candle in this box that I didn't get, but that's perfectly okay. Like I said, it's for a good cause. It went to a customer, a subscriber to the box, so that is so much more important than me getting it. But let's go ahead and move on to the book, which I already know what it is, and I'm very excited for it. <gasps> Look at those pages. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu, and this is not coming off on camera very well, but we have like these silver pages. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what... Ooh! Uh, we have a really cool map. Look at that. We have a author letter. Does it look like... <gasps> we have a really cool silver tree. And then the spine of silver. And there is the signature. I am very excited for this book. I have actually never read a Marie Lu book. So this might be my first one. And I'm okay with that. Okay, so the final item is actually just this little card that gives you a sneak peek as to what the next box is. And it is full moon magic. And you can use my code Holly to get it. And let's see what every box will include. Ooh, a jigsaw puzzle. Let's be honest, we could all use a puzzle in our life right now. But yeah, I'm very excited. So that is the end of my book haul. Be sure to check out the Byzans app. All of the links will be down below. Download it and add me as a friend so that we can chat live. How fun would that be? Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed because it helps me out so, so much. And go ahead and subscribe. I upload videos every single week. Follow me on Instagram at Holly Hearts Books and on Twitter at Holly Nice. And until we meet again. Happy reading.